Well, welcome everybody to our topic on boredom and its relationship to addiction and recovery. Last week we talked about the actual drug experience as a solution to boredom. And this week we'll talk about the drug lifestyle as a solution to boredom. And there are many common, uh, there's sort of common principles involved in the lifestyle. So addiction is not merely drug use, it's actually the lifestyle and both the drugs and the lifestyle go together. One of the things that addicts are famous for, according to Narcotics Anonymous, for example, is making mountains out of molehills. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Another thing that, uh, at least in 12-step programs, a uh, common thing is gossip and rumors. Right? A common thing, if you remember from your time at uh, the Sunshine Coast Health Center, uh, maybe you experienced this. Uh, a lot of the fellows are starting to get bored, so they will go out of their way to make things exciting. And that may be gossip, more rumors, all sorts of things. Okay. So this idea of doing something to alleviate the boredom other than the drug use. And one of the, uh, the key things I think that uh, everything revolves around is what I call intensity. And addicts love intensity. And it really doesn't seem to matter what the intensity is about. As long as it's intense, or the, actually the way I affectionately put it, uh, to live life at the level of a soap opera. Okay? So everything's bigger than life. Right? This intensity seems to have as its effect, a relief of boredom. I don't know if you, again, if you remember back to your time at the Sunshine Coast Health Center, if anything out of the ordinary happened, everybody got excited. Or, you know, that joke that I tell the clients, if a police car rolled up here, uh, there would be more energy expended in the next 10 minutes than clients have spent in the last two days on something that may actually save their life, right? Just because it's exciting. It's something out of normal. Or uh, that other story I tell you about, or maybe you were a client when I did this, but I put on that four-hour movie, one of the most brilliant descriptions of addiction, right? <laughs> but no car chases, no one gets shot, nah, just nothing's happening, just a bunch of drunks sitting around talking, and oh, geez, almost had a riot here within an hour, right? The guys were so bored. So these, uh, this idea of action things have to go on. I mean, it's so fundamental to the addiction. I mean, so many of the clients here talk about whatever they did in, in addiction, they did it because it was a rush, right? This whole excitement avenue. This is the that intense lifestyle that I'm talking about. So addicts are famous for using this intense lifestyle as a solution to what they're feeling, which is generally boredom. If there's no adrenaline rush, if nothing's really happening, uh, someone with an addiction problem generally tends to get bored very quickly. Okay, so that's this week's uh, little talk on boredom and we'll be back next week and uh, we'll start looking at some uh, solutions then.